So I'm gonna bring Mr. Blue on into the okay. You got the Pinocchio nose on. So. <laughs> you got the Pinocchio hey. nose on. Nosy Blue, what's going on with you, bro? Where you been at? Just being nosy, you know what I'm saying? Take care of nosy business, getting the people business and gossiping at the same damn time. Nosy, nosy blue. <laughs> hey man, well, it's always good to have you join the show. Uh better late than never. Um, I got a question for you, man. Have you been following Kyle Rittenhouse's trial. Yeah, I've been um, peeping my head in here and there in between sessions, and um, I find it very disturbing, man. I mean, I'm sorry I came in late, so I probably missed a lot what y'all was talking about, but just the judge himself is just like really throwing me, you know what I mean? What, 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 how the judge, how is the judge throwing you? What is the judge doing wrong in your eyes? I mean, he's like, he's attacking the prosecution. It's like, it's almost like, I don't know, you know, judges used to be lawyers and lawyers have always been known to be dirty. I think somebody slipped him a couple hundred thousand, them good old boys. And, um, he going to make it do what it do. That boy going to go home nice, clear and free. No probation, no parole, none of that good stuff. And I'm not saying that he should have a harsh sentence per se. I mean, in his mind, he might have felt like he, his life was in danger. He's 17. He's emotionally young. He's emotionally immature. So, you know, anybody just buck at him, he probably think his life is in danger. Scared to death. Boom, boom, boom. What do you know? Most people who, I mean, you know, you and some of us used to be in gangs. Remember, some of the, when we had the BGs on the front line, the BGs were scared to death. So they were automatically known to be the best shooters because it's all they could do because they were afraid to fight. The guy was crying, crack it out tears, but somebody told me they didn't see a tear fall at all. Did you see any tears fall, Kalisha? I did not. It was very staged, very unnatural. It, it was not a real cry to me at all. The judge's behavior, MD. Is the judge behaving properly on the bench? Uh, actually, man, it, 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 to me, it almost feel like a, a Sopranos movie scene. I mean, it is it, it, very disbelievable. And my man had me cracking up in my head, man. I'm kind of on him. I definitely think it's some funny business going on. So, which judge is that? Am I thinking of the right judge, Mr. Blue? When I when I think of the, the ball head one, because we've got we're going through two uh, major trials right now. We're going through that one. We're going through Ahmad Albury. And one of those judges, you know, he's the ball headed guy, man. That nigga look racist than a motherfucker. Nah, man. Like, nah, I don't, I don't think that, nah, we're talking about the different you're talking about a different judge. This judge yeah, right here. Yeah. You can just tell he's a racist. He's he's filming on the bench. Oh, you know yeah, well, you, you know that's you know which way I mean, because he knows that it's not going the way he would like it to go. You know, evidence is evidence. He's like, damn, these boys are gonna get hanged for this fucking nigga. Hey, but uh let me ask you this, uh MD, are black people outrage and the outrage over this Kyle Rittenhouse uh, trial? Uh, truthfully, man, I don't think black people are responding to it at all. Uh, well, let me tell you why black people probably are not responding to it. They, he didn't kill nobody black. He killed white people. I agree. We, we we tend to stick to our own. As long as they not killing us, we tend to don't make a big thing about it, which is wrong in itself. I mean, killing is killing in general. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know. But we do have that father's people. All right, Kalisha, um, are black people upset and outraged because of this trial? Um, this is the Rittenhouse judge. Is this the guy you're thinking about? Yeah, that, that's the that's the racist. He looked like a racist. He's receiving death threats now, I do believe. Uh, maybe both look, of them are. He, he definitely looks like a stereotypical movie racist. Um, are we outraged? I think that we are in a society where we're outraged about any and everything. Like, when are we not outraged? But is it legitimate that? for black people to be outraged? Like, should we not care? Did he do us a favor? Um, that I can't speak on because I don't even know who his victims were. I don't know what was happening. I don't know if he killed allies of ours. I don't know if he killed people. Hey, So-called allies, the ones that come into the neighborhoods and um help burn it down, start the burning down, bring the Molotov cocktails to burn shit down. So if you want to call them allies, that's cool with me. Okay, then very much so. We probably have a reason to be upset, which, like I said, in our community, if there's not a reason we can create one so there's definitely you know that and um i just want to see how this plays out because as i said earlier if he doesn't get any time you know that's going to create an outrage in the white community if he does get time that will potentially create an outrage in the black community because they'll feel 
somewhat slighted because if it was a black person, he probably would not have gotten time. So, you know, it's going to be a catch 22 either way it goes. So I'm very interested in the outcome. Mr. Blue, what do you think about that, man? Uh, should we be outraged because he killed some white people? We should be outraged that anybody kill anybody. Those of us from Chicago, raise your hand. <laughs> you already know. I mean, we can't talk about nobody waste based on what we got going on, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chicago is a racist city, man. We got, you know, like right now. Mob, was it That was a, the second mob home at one time. Right. I'm from out of there, right? Yeah. The biggest gangster yeah. that we know. Yeah, there's a, there's a few of them, you know, uh, that's from Chicago, that's well-known mobsters, you know? So I say that to say this. One, I disagree with the people being allies because, you know, a lot of times these people come to our community to start these fiascos to put the bullseye back on our backs. Sometimes they'll wear a mask or they'll wear blackface or, they, you know, they'll do that, throw Molotov fries. We, regular black people, brown black people, don't don't have none of that in our minds. We are strictly there for the march and for the shouting and whatever else. But then they'll come in and throw a, a that thing fire that you was talking about and break glasses and flip over cars and they'll blame it on the Black Lives Movement. But it was not our movement. It was somebody coming in to make it seem as if it was us antagonizing and pushing it forward. Exactly, exactly. MD. Oh yeah. You think this guy gonna get some time? Uh, truthfully, I think they probably gonna make. I think he will. I think they're gonna make an example out of him. I think they don't want to let it not be because I mean, we will have something to talk about then. So right. I definitely think he's gonna get a little bit of time. I don't think it's gonna be uh, what he deserves, what we expect him to get. Uh, but I definitely think they're gonna pop him. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna spank him. You see what I'm saying? Right. I got one question about this whole uh, case, Felicia. Why isn't the mother arrested when she drove her son there? He was underage. What's going on with that? Accountability is by far lacking in this country, in this world. Nobody is being held accountable for their actions. And that's why he needs to go to jail. He needs to go to jail because one, he shouldn't have been there. Two, his mama should had no business driving him over there. I don't care if she didn't know what he was doing. She knew there were guns in the car. Like, stop playing games. Like, we're, we're sick of it. We're tired. Girl, I have so much. Let me talk. Call her. Get on the line. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see what her thought process was and we can have a clear understanding of why she thought that was a good idea I well, you know, proud. well watching that particular situation shows me that black mothers are not the only ones that like a crazy killer son I mean that's evident in single the mothers school, <laughs> in the like, I mean who, who are here killing people these men, what, what are mamas be at when the children be doing these mad shoes and kill up all these people she knew the child had guns she probably bought the stuff for them so I mean that's idea these people are crazy and I don't know what this is looking like. 